When I was working in a second job, I was the top performer. I worked in production kind of work. I was the top performer for three years. When I asked for a promotion, my manager refused. But in my third company, my manager was so good, he gave me a hike every year and recognized my work. In my experience, I have to depend on my manager. But some managers are really toxic. My question to you is, why would a manager refuse even though I was a top performer? Ahmed, great question. I think uh, to our audience, we need to talk about this particular topic, something which is very, very relevant. In, in the question, I said, our manager is a manager, and our manager is a manager, and our manager is a salary raise. அதே வந்து இன்னொரு மேனேஜர் வந்து சேலரி ரைஸ் கொடுத்தாரு அண்ட் ஈ அப்ரிஷியேட்டட் அவர் வந்து ப்ரொமோஷன்லாம் கொடுத்தாருன்னு சொல்லி எதனால் வந்து நம்மளோட நம்ம வேலை செய்கிறப்ப வந்து அவர் அமது என்ன சொல்கிறாருன்னா நம்மளோட வேலை வந்து நம்மளோட மேனேஜர் இதில் டிபெண்டண்ட்டாக இருக்குது அவங்க கையில் தான் இருக்குது நம்ம சம்பளம் உயர்வு கிடைக்கிறது கிடைக்காதது ப்ரொமோஷன் கிடைக்கிறது கிடைக்காதது வந்து அவங்க கையில் இருக்குது ஸோ ஹவு டு யூ ஹேண்டில் திஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ சுச்சுவேஷன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி ஸோ ஆமாம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஃபார்மோஸ்ட் திங் வாட் ஐ வாண்ட் டெல் யூ இஸ் த பாப்புலர் ப்ராப் இன் த சென்ஸ் பீப்புள் லீவ் கம்பெனிஸ் Uh, people do not leave companies for the for the brand people leave companies because of their manager so what you say is very true there are certain managers uh, managers there are certain managers who are i wouldn't say toxic because they are not intentional about it it is just that they have not been trained to be managers organizations promote managers but the most important emphasis organizations need to do is grooming their managers or training their managers to have those managerial skills so that they can evaluate the teams in parity with parity right evaluating teams evaluating um, your your direct reports it is so very important that managerial training has to be provided for managers and that is when you would see you will not have these kind of situations alternately there is something which is called as coaching from within coaching from within rudinana you are coaching your manager your, your manager is in your words let's say he is not well trained or he is not he is toxic okay how do you really turn around that manager coaching from within gradu vandu it's a very very popular word what you need to do is you have abilities where you can coach a manager how do you go about doing that for example if your manager does not know how to actually recognize your work one of the things what you should do is pick up articles go take a look at some of the articles which are published by the harvard business review or the inc magazine about managerial skills pick up that article read that article email it to your manager stating that hey i read this great article i would like to review it so the topic on which you want to groom your manager you are sharing it with your manager now what happens is the moment your manager sees that he understands the gap and he is actually getting a tune with your expectations that is what you do in that that is what is called as for coaching from within very very interesting point what you brought up it is not intentional it is organizations who are technically at fault who are not coaching their managers with all of these skills and secondly you can overcome this problem by from by with coaching from within where you can share relevant articles for you to your manager so that they can upgrade their skills hope that helps